stick with it. If, if it weren't any good what we were doing, what some people were doing, then it probably wouldn't be there. The same as other fighters wouldn't be there. Um, and, and that's the thing, yeah. I look at it like this, right, with Kel bro. I think that if he gets unhappy, I think he just goes off on one and doesn't speak to anybody, doesn't let people know what's going on. Yeah, it's and, and I think this with John Fuchs, I think maybe John deserved a phone call or summer. It's not nice for John Fuchs to turn on his TV or an internet and computer and see that see all this on social media, oh Kel Brooks back with Dominic King or but yet he doesn't know about it. I don't think that's very nice. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah, well, that, the reading between, I have interviewed John at uh, Venice's last show, yeah. uh, uh, Wayne, and he, his, he didn't know what had gone on, he'd, he'd not heard from him. And I, it sounds to me like that had happened with, Duck, with Brendan, where he'd left and gone to Dave Caldwell. And obviously then Dominic's gone back after, did, did he win British title with Caldwell? I think he yeah. did, didn't he? I don't, I don't, I don't know about ins and outs, to be honest yeah, yeah. but what I know is, yeah. what I know is, there's a right way and wrong way to do right things. Now, I'm it, not yeah. talking about this to have a dig at Kel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kel knows me. You get on with Kel, I get on with Kel, and, Kel, knows, Kel, Kel, and Kel, Kel knows me. If I've got something to say to somebody's face, I'll say it to the face. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if the fucking Al Capone or fucking, yeah, I'll say yeah, it to yeah, the face. John Gotti. That's not me giving it the big I'm just saying that I'm not, that's not what I'm doing here. I'm not digging the guy out. Yeah, I'm just giving an example. Yeah, what happened, yeah. On, 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 uh, on the way people uh, doing right and wrong things. One of the things yeah. Kel's done is he stuck to he stuck to boxing. He's been boxing since a kid. Only thing I'd say with Kel, where, where a lot it, it stands for a lot of circumstances with yeah. a lot of different fighters, is the people he's got round him. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So if, if 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 I'm working with you, Russ, I always said to Adam when when Adam introduces me to anybody, I am a direct and complete example of my friend what's introduced me to you. So if Dennis introduced me to you, which he did for us, yeah, yeah. I'm quite confident that there's never there's not anything bad you can say about me. Yeah. You can't say, oh he's been a bit rude. I'm always polite, I'm always yeah. courteous, yeah. I always go out of the way to ask about your family. I'm a, I'm, I'm a direct representative of my friend in Dennis. And that's yeah. how I think people should be. That's yeah. a simple way of putting it. Yeah, like that, but that. not everybody's like that. So when you look at when you look at, you know, we're speaking about John's and Kel's situation, if all I think to myself is, if he can fuck him off like that, because clearly John's helped him in many ways, then what fucking chance have I got with him? Which if you noticed before I used the word associate. I didn't yeah. use the word friend because one of the things I understand as well with all the experience I've got is a friend and an, it's the difference between a friend and an associate. Yeah. And I've got brothers and associates. I ain't got no friends. Yeah. I've got brothers or associates. Everybody that I spent my time with, the brothers. Yeah. Everybody that I choose to give my time to, either for convenience or because I've had no choice to fucking just come upon me or I've come upon them. Yeah. They're just associates. Yeah. So I'm like I say, Russ, there's good and there's good and wrong ways about doing things. I'm bitter towards nobody. If yeah, somebody's yeah. got a problem with me, then they've got a problem with me. We'll, we'll deal with it accordingly, no problem. But what I'm saying to you is, yeah. is now, with all these things going on in my mind, I've got a responsibility. First and foremost, my children. Second, like the kids in this gym. Cash yeah. is one of them. Yeah. And I don't mean to call Cash a kid, but Cash has come, in, come here. And I've got to tell you, some credit to him. He does everything I tell him to do. He does everything I ask him to do. Man, he and he is a complete difference. You know, I've seen him over day when I come in here last week. Could you see difference, Russ? I've seen it in his appearance. Oh, brilliant, man. He yeah. sits up, in it now? Yeah, yeah, better than uh, Yeah, he, he, yeah. Sit, he sits up. Uh, yeah, bless him. He's changed a lot. And yeah. I said, how's your training going? He's very happy. Yeah, he's been through a lot, Russ. He's been through a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he he lost his lot. dad, didn't he? He lost his dad, and then he lost his cousin the other day. You know. Oh, never. Yeah, and his cousin. And when when people say cousin, they go, "Yeah, well, what's the cousin?" He, the Pakistani culture, they're very close. They're like brothers, aren't they? They're like so. brothers, and and his cousin was no exception to that. They were really close, yeah. and he just died of a sudden heart attack. You know. How old? Uh, Thirty-nine. Yeah. So Cash has been through a lot, and, and I, t I actually took me out to Cash, and I know a lot of people have got this preconception of. Uh, the, 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 the way Cash has represented himself in the David Price fight or how Cash has sounded on 
um, you know, leading no, up press to the fight. Leading up to the fight. You know, Everyone, they will try and sell the fight, yeah. won't they? Yeah, but if this is this is the thing, Russ. You've got these people what are insignificant. Yeah. They've paid thirty pounds or forty pounds for a boxing to count, however much they've paid. Mm. They turn up to a boxing event and it's the only, one of only sports that you get the opportunity yeah. to either do that and slag fighters off or do that and slag fighters off and nothing happened from it. With me, it's a little bit different because mm. I'm being 100% honest with you. Yeah. If I went out and somebody said to me, yeah, uh, this and that, because people have messaged me. I got a message off um, um, uh, the fellow what, what, what says he's, uh, he's actually not Dillian's brother, but the fellow what... Um, Says he's a Dillian's brother. Yeah. Why? What's his name? Dean, what, Dean Urkirk, or is it? Dean, Lee yeah. Mar, Scott, so or Dean, something? Dean. I actually, yeah. I get on with Dean. I yeah, talk yeah. to him, right? Uh, I got a message from a, it was a fucking fake account on Twitter yeah. saying cash is a bump. See, what I'm going to say to you is, is that that somebody sat who's made a fake profile, they don't want to put the picture on thing. Yeah. That's somebody what's put themselves up there to try and um, uh, uh, come across a certain way when it's not really them. Right? A bit like that old Count Steffi Ball set up in my day, yeah. Yeah, well, that's that 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 stuff. That yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you is, is you've got all these shitbags. It gives shitbags the opportunity mm. to a fucking extent that I can't even express to you, Russ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the extent of somebody speaking ill of my good friend Deontay's little girl. You're joking, man. Yeah. Did, don't you know that Charlie's ill enough? That Charlie's Ellen off some fucking idiot was. He's gone on the internet and he said something. I'm not even going to repeat what yeah. he said, but I shouldn't even be saying his name and giving him because he'll be buzzing off the fucking recognition. But what I'm saying to you is, is he said something like uh, about Deontay's daughter. Then he's turned up to Deontay's fucking gymnast and said, oh, we'll have a fight. So it's on, it's on YouTube. Go on YouTube. And Deontay just goes, yeah, no problem. Put your gloves on. So all the auntie's team are going, no, 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 Dio, 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 and he's going, no, he's going, listen, man, get the fuck out of here, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give this guy a few little, a little lessons. So he gets in and the gets a little bit carried away because the auntie is an emotional type of guy and, um, so and tries to pull his fucking head off. And, that's what they do, they knock him down like Yeah, he fucking uh, knocked him, they took his fucking head off and this Charlie Dolanov just goes, fucking hell. All of a sudden, this is what I'm saying to you, Russ, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's dawning on him that I shouldn't be in here. I'll end up getting myself killed. So at that, he jumps up, runs to the door, and fucking gets out of there. And Deontay's like, hey man, listen, you're in the wrong type of place, you'll end up getting yourself hurt, really hurt. <laughs> and this guy gets off anyway. But uh, what I'm trying to say to you is, does a favor, pal, stop walking about, man, it's making a noise on camera. <laughs> so, so what you have to understand is, with regards to Boxing, boxing is one of those sports that allows people to have an opinion, opinion yeah. allows people to have a say, allows people to speak out of turn, allows people to talk to killers. Because Russ, make no mistake about it, you come in this gym and see these children in this gym, Russ will tell you, these little motherfuckers are killers. Oh. These kids are killers. And I'm not only on about in the ring physically, I'm on about they'll kill you with charm. They'll kill you with knowledge. Yeah. You said to kids, you little shitter. That means the diff that means different to what it means to you or yeah. a lot of other people. Because the word shit, they'll tell you where it comes from. Yeah. They'll educate you to that extent. Now yeah. a lot of people are probably watching this and going, nice oh, talking shit and this and that and um, and, and what difference does that make? I guarantee those people what are thinking like that, you've got problems with your kids, haven't you? You've got problems in your life. You've got things going on that you feel like you've got no control over. And that's what I'm doing for children. I'm starting early and I'm building them strong. So when it goes, does come to the opportunity that they'll have when they get in that ring to hurt people, to win championships, to do well in life outside of the ring, yeah they'll have these naysayers, these dirty bastards, these people what have got an opportunity where they won't get another opportunity to comment or have an opinion on these mighty, strong and brave young men what get in this ring. Yeah. So I'm preparing them for that. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you Russ is, 
all these people what are saying this and saying that just because it's something to say, making fake accounts. What are you doing with your life? What are you doing to better society? What are you doing for the children? What are you doing that people are going to remember you by? And that's what I said to these people, Russ. With regards to all the champions of today, with regards to all the champions of tomorrow, give them respect. Yeah. Give them time. Look at them. Look at what they're doing. Look at what they're wearing. The balls on a plate. They're getting in there and they're risking their lives. And I'm really, you see, I'm, Russ, I'm really passionate about this because... Yeah, I can see that. You know, yeah, we've we've gone on to yeah. subject to trolls and or whatever you call them. These people have got opinions and you know taking this this boxing game. For I ain't got a problem with them having opinions, but I want to know who these people are. Yeah, but you never will do, Russell. Never do, do they're, they're, they're hiding. They're yeah. hiding. Yeah. And, and oh, sometimes, I have them every day. <laughs> but, but even, I'll tell you, Russ. I'll tell you. You'll get these people. You've just explained to me about somebody. Come and say hello at the show, don't they? And tell you who they are. Yeah, but you'll get these people. Those, they'll, 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 what do you call it? They'll. They'll say all they've got to say, and you might even know them, and everybody else knows them. Russ, how many times have you worked this in your life? Oh, I've, had it daily, time. Yeah. I've got to daily. jail. I've got to jail at least four or five times because these same type of mentality people have come for me. They've attacked me. They've done something to me. Yeah. Right? These people, what I'm referring to, even the ones in plain sight, what are known. You've just explained one to me yeah. without mentioning names. Right? They'll give it all, they'll give it all, give it all, give it all. You give a fraction back of what happens, they'll fucking stick you in. They'll stick oh, you in. Oh, I've been stuck in, haven't we? Well, I'm going to. Well, right. I'm so, what I'm saying to you is, so what I'm saying to you is, Rose. Well, Dennis is in front of the button. Yeah, yeah, so what I'm saying to you is, is we've got to just make a, we've got to just make a choice. Yeah. Do we give these people more time and attention than they deserve, mm. or do we just crack on with what we're doing? We just do what we're doing and the, let them go on what they're doing. Exactly. Because we know we're not. Do what we're doing. Do what we're doing. We bump into them, and if they come into space, <laughs> then, do it, don't then, 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 then I mean, you've got cash here, right? Is it 16 and 1, isn't it? 16 and 1, yeah. 16 and 1. Yeah. You, that's what you were, wasn't it, when you were Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. funny enough. He's yeah. 16 and 1, 27 years of age. Yeah. He's just lost his dad and his cousin. Right, and I've got, I've got people on my YouTube account and, and Nicola won't let me reply to it because I, I just get in an argument with him. There's one of you and you know who you are and you keep commenting about Cash Alley. Every time I do a video about Cash Alley or come here, yeah. you'll see it comment from him. His name's Robert Britton, aren't you Robert? But we also know that you don't exist because we've checked out. There's nobody at that name. We yes. know who you are though. Like. We know who you are because you're... You were texting somebody else at the same time, talking about the same thing. So, what, what are you doing with your life? Oh, we know yeah, that's what are you doing, but this kid here has just lost his dad and his cousin. Mm. But what can you do? He's got a chance to go and reach the pinnacle. He's got a chance to be the heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah. He, may not, he may not do that, but he's in it to win it. Yeah. He's got better odds than winning the lottery, hasn't he? Yeah better odds than these motherfuckers have got sat, you sat go. on pulling themselves off yeah. over probably you Russ. Yeah probably me yeah, yeah. I mean so. if I put a video out mate like, yeah. there's for 40 comments within four hours on YouTube yeah. and you'll get you know why my videos when they go out and this is funny this yeah. a 40 minute or a 50 minute video goes out but yet it's got a dislike after the first one minute exactly. because I that's a notification on the I phone it. it's like yeah. it. Well, that, that is a great compliment to me, though, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Well, the thing is, people are paying attention. I'm living in the red rent free, so I take, <laughs> I take some of it from that. Exactly. Yeah. But I, I want Cash to do well, and obviously I've only got to know Cash through Dennis yeah. and, and you. Yeah. And I think he's all right. Yeah, yeah, I've, exactly. I watched the fight, obviously, when he bit the A.U. Price, and I thought, he's just ruined a, a great opportunity to get into the mix. Yeah. And David Price went on to it to earn a few quid after that, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think what he's done, what he did there, not ruined the opportunity, because I like to be careful with words. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I think he's prolonged his opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just, <laughs> yeah, he's just wasted a year. Yeah. It's going to take him a year to put that right, because he's got yeah. a six month ban, yeah. and he's going to need a couple of fights with Dennis just to get back to where he were. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but exactly. you're going to bring him back better, yeah. and when he wins a belt, and this kid will get a belt catch. Yeah. Well, that's, that's when. It's, a, it's about achievement and everybody will be happy. 
but he'll get his ranking and he'll move on. Yeah. But like I said, these people who are digging him out, he deserves a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, yeah. his video from the other day will be out today, Cash is at about six o'clock. Right. But Cash deserves it to Cash deserves another chance. Yeah. We've all had second chances in life. I've probably had three or four chances. Yeah. You probably have Richard, haven't you? Yeah, He's yeah. allowed one chance, isn't he? And what has he done? He's not committed a criminal offence. Done what a very well known fellow did once. Derek Chisora like, did it, didn't he? Mike Tyson Mike did Tyson it. Bit the fellow's ear off, you know. Mike Tyson bit yeah. the fellow's ear off and he's a celebrated guy in Hollywood now. Yeah. And you know, he's earning millions from doing all sorts of business ventures. Mm -hmm. So, Cash Alley, who bit David Price's chest or his stomach, he deserves another chance, I think. Yeah, yeah. well, he's getting it, he's here. He's, he's getting here. it, he's yeah. here now. And he's, and he's, he's got the team behind him. He's earning it. He's earning it. And yeah. the every Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, anyway, listen, we'll, we'll, we'll finish it there because we've had a good Thanks fight. For us. Thanks, yeah. No problem. Uh, shout out to all you haters and trolls and all you people out there, you keep watching. Uh, I want to thank JJ Crump and Son for backing the channel, uh, South Yorkshire Packaging Services, Climate Cool and Innovation Alloys, AJ Obson. AJ Obson. Alright, thank you very much. Peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. And don't forget, if you live in Rotherham area or Sheffield and you want to join a gym, there's Fightcraft here. It's in Masbury, it's owned by Richard Towers. It's next door to Dave Caldwell's gym and Richard Playstow's place. What's it called, Richard's place here? What's your gym called, Richard? Masbury Gym. Gym. Yeah. Next door to Masbury Gym, and it's next door but one to Dave Caldwell's uh, boxing gym in Masbury. So Richard Towers is running here, ex heavyweight contender, and uh, there's all sorts of classes and that. All right, if you're interested in getting fit or, or just uh, taking up boxing, all right? So thanks for tuning in. Oh.